Welcome to the third world experience. This is the slum we've been living in. I think I've got tetanus just trying to move around this trailer. Fine days, I'm gonna snap. And here's Dallas who hasn't had a shower for two days. And he said today, if we just dipped him in shit, he'd smell better. <laughs> and I don't know where all this stuff come from. It just keeps expanding and we can't move around our trailer. Trailer. Caravan. Caravan. Trailer. Caravan. The Traction E-Rag staff were invited to try flat track racing and they managed to smuggle me in. Turned out to be a lot of fun trying to go sideways on these specially modified bikes. Okay, so this is Dallas in front of me. Let's see if he can do any good. Come on, you big hoser. Get out of it. Get out of the way. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, go. See his technique. Come on. Now he's blocking me in. Mr. Shannon, high five. Frank. Frank. So it's a standard motocross bike, they lower the suspension. Looks like a 19 inch front and a much wider front tyre than normal. Tyres are specifically designed for this sort of sliding. No front brake, which is really weird. Just tape up the inside peg because you never use it. And you've got to wear this metal sort of thing on your boot. So guys, this is Brandon, and he's just showing us how to come in very wide, clip the apex early, and come out quite tight. There's a real, um, seems there's a real art to this. So a lot of the cornering's similar. The bike's leaned over, the body's vertical, just like dirt riding. The elbows are up. The um, outside butt cheek is off the bike. What is different is the foot's actually on the ground and the foot's pointing out like that away from the bike. Definitely sliding on the ground. That's what's so different to dirt riding. Many thanks to our model, Ryan from Traction E-Rag. But you meant to come in really wide, so to clip the apex early and get on the throttle early. So come in wide, slip it sideways a bit, start accelerating very early, which I'm not getting right. Slide in. That's a bit better. Perry, Traction E-Rex staff member, how was that for you? Oh, it was awesome. So if you see the video of this, I'm the fastest one out there. Definitely. Definitely passing Barry in Dallas. So. Absolutely. Embarrassing all the guys here today. For sure, that was my goal going into it. Yeah, well done. Well, we got in at 2 a.m. last night and we're pretty brain fucked. But as far as I can make out, this is something about eating donuts. First fatality for the day. Well, he's still alive at the moment, but we expect him to keel over any moment. Well done, James. So, John, you're part of the Traction E-Rag team. How's it going? Yeah, it's going good. Yeah, it's good to uh, get out here and try something different. Learning a lot about traction, funny enough. It's a lot slippier than I, I thought it would be. <laughs> it's harder to get on that gas. <laughs> you're Definitely. finding it weird sliding your foot on the ground? <laughs> Certainly, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit different. Like, it's actually one of the hardest things to get used to. Like, you're not used to having all that feedback through your through your foot. So when you first put it down, like you got the noise from the steel shoe sliding across the, the ground. So Monique, your first time with uh, flat track racing. How's it going? Oh, it's fun. It's going good. Well, it's a little different because you have to lean so far over. You can't really do that in the woods. You just lean into a tree. Okay, here are some faster guys. Yeah, they're doing it right. I won't be able to hang with them for very long. This was far more fun than I expected it to be. And I figure anything that gets you used to lack of traction has to be handy for enduro riding too. Yeah, they're pulling away. The 
coaching saw all of us improving and getting faster until, of course, the inevitable happened. Well, I just kept pushing it harder and harder and harder and finally got the front to slide out. Woohoo!